We now cross over to Wajia County, where the county assembly will enter the books of history after all 30 ward representatives who served in the second county assembly were sent parking in the recently concluded elections. Residents are said to have voted out the MCAs following an ending wrangles between the assembly and the executive that derailed service delivery. The incoming team now faces tough times ahead, occasioned by the high expectations of the electorate on leaders' mandate. This fracas that ensued at the Wajia County Assembly over the membership of the Budget Committee was just one of the many wrangles pitting the members of the County Assembly against the executive led by former Governor Mohamed Abdi. The saga derailed service delivery to the chagrin of the residents. <laughs> And when the new county assembly had its first sitting, all members who were sworn in were new faces as all the 30 elected ward representatives who served in the second county assembly were sent packing. last time, but even as the new team took charge at the county's assembly, it was not lost on them that the task ahead was not a simple one given the high expectations the residents have of their leaders. We will be able to ensure that we are going to work with the executive on one hand and also ensure that we legislate and pass bills that are relevant to the local people on the ground level. We have taken a pledges uh, for long uh, during our campaign. Now we are ready more than 100% to deliver those pledges. The only thing which is remaining is work to be done and we work for Wajia County people, only that. Governor Ahmed Abdullahi and newly elected County Assembly Speaker Abdile Yusuf vowed to turn a new leaf in ties between the executive and the assembly to fulfill the campaign pledges. We want them to, uh, with speed, form their committees in line with their standing orders so that we can start transacting business with the assembly by bringing our budget to them. There will be a very cordial relationship between the executive and the assembly. Ours is to ensure if there are bills, programs, policies that have been brought to the assembly that are beneficial to the Wajia, we will do utmost to ensure those bills and the policies are made into law so that they can be implemented and they benefit the people of Wajia. The governor urged the MCAs to put their political differences aside and seek a unity of purpose in serving the public. We don't have a budget as yet to make the interventions that we need to to assist our people. So we need to move with speed to settle down. The governor pledged to complete the projects left behind by his predecessor.